M0FXB, let's update the firmware on our RT3S or UV380, possibly 390, for the Open GD77 system. Now, on the right hand side, you can see links to you need two firmwares to do this. One is called the donor file, which is the original DMR firmware, and the other is called the, is just the normal firmware file. So what we do is, if you look on the left here, this this is the tw May 2025. We've got the donor file. So it's a bin file. It's a little white file that you put on your computer, but it's core. It's actually made for the MD9600, and the link for that is just down here. Donor file. You click that link, and of course I'll put the link in the description. When you go into the zip, you'll see that the one I need for my model, because my model is um, is non-GPS, yeah, is at the top here. Look, see that? C9600 bin. So it's non-GPS. So you have to get that and put it somewhere. So what I did, I just create a new folder. I called it the donor file here. I just click the one I want, and I just drag it in and drop it. Let go of my mouse, and that's one file that's in place, okay? Then we go to the other file, which is here. Again, click the zip. Now I'm doing the MD380 here, and it's a non-GPS, so you click it. Exactly the same, you get this zip. And then you're looking for the one here, look, in English. Open MD UV380 bin, and it's all May the 25th, or the, you know, different dates in May, so it's current. Click it, hold your finger, and then drag it into a different file, which I've called firmware bin and let go of your finger. And that's it, you've got the two files you need. Now you download the programming software. Now the full setup of this does require you to do a backup, but I am literally just updating, so I'm not gonna do a backup. So I'll also put a link in to download, this is the programming software, which you can just see here, and the link will be there. Just literally click here, download latest, CPS. Remember, it's the same CPS for all Open GD70 radios, 77 radios. Then get the cable that suits your radio. It'll be the same cable that you would have used with the other software, this kind of software. Now, when you download the CPS, it does install the USB driver for you, so that's very handy. So we've connected our radio, and just to test it, we will just read from it in the normal way. So I'll just go right click device manager here, right click device manager and double click the ports and it should be there. Yes, yeah, open GD77 on my one. With older ones, sometimes you don't get a port number, you just get DFU, a DFU thing showing. But uh, you know, let's just with mine. I am getting a port number, so I'm just going to go to read the radio with the little yellow radio here. It's got a yellow arrow, or you can go program read. So you just go like so, read, and we're going to read from my radio. And then we know that the the cable's working. You can see there it's working, and you just click OK. So I know it's all connected. So it's well worth doing that. Now we're going to go to firmware. So we'll go to extras at the top here, and there's a lot more you can do with this extras and firmware loader okay and so you always put in the 9600 first okay now we the radio we've got is an md380 as you know but anyway select so select your radio and I, i'll have a go with the 9600 later and i can't remember what the rt84 looks like i have to have a look so anyway select official firmware donor and then we're going to find the donor file that i put in that special folder. That's why it's so impor important to get organized first. So it's the, let's find it. Too many files on my computer. Uh, where is it? I called it RT3 donor. PQ, there it is there. Double click and the file will be there. So you click that, success, and it now says that DMR will work. Then we need to select the proper firmware. So it still says 380 here. I'm connected to my 380. Now, before we upload it, we need to get it into DFU mode. So we're going to turn it off, hold down the PTT and the button above and turn on. And you know when it's worked because it will it will come on red. Okay. It's flashing green and red now. So we're going to go open 
that file and we're going to go again to those files that we saved find the one that's firmware bin oh it's not in there so let's um let's just find, make sure we've got the right file in there okay well as soon as i uh went to a different place and selected it it started to load it so i just selected it straight from my downloads folder but you can see it says settings have now been updated and i click english and uh, that's it it's all good to go and i'll just show you what i did when it wouldn't load i just went to my downloads like so just went to the downloads double clicked the open mdv uv380 zip and then it just loaded that's what i did and it worked as you can see let's check what firmware we've got on there now just go menu and then up and down till you see firmware and select i know it's not the clearest image <laughs> Uh, with these little screen copies, but it says CPU seek, whatever that is, rev and back and flash. It's all there. It says open GD settings, but the date is crucial 202405. So it's definitely the latest model. And I, I know it's the one because. If I go menu and then go to up and down until I see options, I've now got more APRS options that I didn't have before. And so now I can turn APRS on to PTT, like so. I'm pretty much sure I've put everything else in there. And let's see if we can show you it working with APRS. Okay, so we've selected our channel and we've got our FT5 doing APRS. A12 there. I just go. I've been sending myself some messages, so I just clear them. Just clear that. Press the grid. Delete. Click OK. And it clears your grid. So no previous messages. Now watch this. Yeah, we remember we had to go into APRS. Um, go to options. Options. Go up one. I know it's a bit bright. APRS options and just make sure you've selected PTT, okay? And then we just selected one of the channels that you saw. Now, you want to make sure your location's in as well. So you just go menu, go up to satellite. Remember, this has got a satellite searcher as well. See that? Now, it's only going to search satellite based on the location that you've put in it, okay? Um, and you can update. I'll show you how to update this satellite software as well. You don't need a GPS radio, by the way. So then press, if I press enter, look, there's the satellites passing. And press up and down, look, you've got the, when they're gonna pass the time and the frequencies that it's gonna receive and transmit on. Just make sure that when you press satellite, if your location's not in, it's gonna to say to you, well, where's your location? You know, you haven't put your location in. So just make sure you, you enter it. You just type it in, I've done videos on that anyway. So back out, so it's all, ready to go let's back out a minute so we're in aprs uk 144 800 and we're going to send it by holding the ptt down you do have to sort of hold it for a bit and let go see that it said aprs tx and there's our items there m0 fxv7 and whatever you've set it's going to be as accurate and the information is going to be as good as the inf as as what you know you've put into the retivis so it works, working good. Now, if I send it back, F, beacon, now, of course it receives it, but I don't know if it does receive it, where does it put it? And that's the next video, but I think it's still a big thing. But remember to get to this point, I've had to add the latest, the latest firmware, yeah, um, on, on GD77. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's been fun, 7.3, all the best.